medical devices come in multiple categories and subclassifications. To allow anyone to R&D or make any of these medical devices, we need broadly 18 different kinds of scientific laboratories. And if there is one place globally where all these 18 centers are available in one campus, it is AMTZ in Vizag. Skilling is at the forefront of bridging the gap between academia and the industry. We have already made a mark in the electric vehicle industry with many of our students being placed in top companies that are propelling the EV industry forward. But Skilling's vision doesn't just end there. We want to address this skill gap across all industries. For this, we have now collaborated with AMPZ, which is a beautiful example of how the industry and government bodies can come together to address a long-standing issue. Add to this a tech platforms like Skilllink and we have the perfect storm to transform the entire medical technology landscape. We have three layers of human resources requirement in medical devices sector. As our manufacturing sector grows more and more, there would be a huge demand and there is already a unsaturated need uh, for hiring competent technical and technological human resources. If you look at the skill gap in the medical devices industry, it becomes quite apparent that there is a vast shortage of design engineers and researchers. In order to address the skill gap, Skilllink has collaborated with AMTZ to launch the Executive Masters in Medical Technology. This course is a blended learning program, wherein the students can learn using the online and offline model. During this program, students will take up a total of 14 online courses which include 9 fundamental courses and specializations. Besides generating human resources, we also have to accredit because medical technology is an accredited sector. It is a regulated sector in many parts of the world and therefore we have the Indian Biomedical Skill Council which is under National Skill Development Agency which accredits biomedical engineers and technicians on certain job roles. This course is a great stepping stone for engineers looking to establish a career in the biomedical engineering field. And therefore, the good thing about medical devices and biomedical engineering is that so long as it's one of these degrees, mechanical, electrical, electronic, computer science, computational biology, chemical, textile, they all can specialize to be a biomedical engineer and fill the huge vacuum that our country has.